Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems Technical Tuesday. I want to look at bullet velocity versus barrel length in our guns specifically. So on the table, I have our longest barrel gun. This is our DR920L. We have an MR920 threaded, which would be the same barrel length as a DR920 and pretty close to an unthreaded. This is sort of the proxy for all of the mid-size guns. And then we have the unthreaded, of course, CR920, which is our shortest gun. We're going to get a baseline first by just shooting 124 grain Fiocchi factory ammo, which I find is pretty consistent as far as bullet velocity goes, um, and it's going to give us a good baseline for all three guns. Then we're going to just use the shortest and the longest gun to compare three different kind of categories of ammo. One is the stuff that relies on velocity, velocity, velocity. That's the Underwood Platinum Edition. This is a, uh, it's supposed to clock at 1800 feet per second with a 68 grain bullet, so it's like a rifle. Then down on the bottom end of the spectrum, you have a standard pressure 147 grain HST, heavier and slower. And then in the middle is 124 grain critical duty. This is a plus P124. So we're gonna see is the loss in velocity linear, meaning do they all kind of lose the same amount of, uh, of actual feet per second, or are they losing more as a percentage? And that way you can kind of evaluate, does one load or the other make sense in the shorter barrel gun? Like, am I better off going with a really fast uh, velocity projectile, or am I better off with like maybe a middle of the road or slower projectile if I'm carrying a short barrel gun? So that's kind of what we're gonna, what we're gonna look at. Like I said, we're gonna start with the 124 grain Fiocchi in all three guns and just see how it does. I'll shoot three rounds through each gun on the chronograph. Here we go. This is the DR920L. This should be the fastest velocity of the three. I missed that one, sorry. We're only going to get two. So 1171 and 1175. So you got an average of 1173. Look at how, how light that uh, extreme spread is, 3.4 feet per second. So it's very consistent. So we can call that good even though we only got two rounds. 1173 is our average, okay? That's a DR920L, so let me go to a new session. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot the MR920 threaded. So this is a four and a half, uh, four and a half inch barrel versus over five inch for the DR920L. Here's three rounds. All right, look at that. Again, an extreme spread of only 5.9 feet per second, and I'm at 1132. So I was 1170 before, so I've already lost 40 feet per second, almost exactly 40 feet per second uh, between these two. And then the last one is gonna be the CR920. So let me set a new session up. By the way, if you haven't seen this new chronograph, I mean, it's, it's the best. So this is the new Garmin chronograph, and there's just nothing better. Okay, here we go. CR920, 124 grain Fiocchi. All right, average of 1057. So we've lost over 100 feet per second. 1173 was the first gun. So we're over, 150, or over 100 feet per second from the longest barrel to the shortest barrel, okay? so. Now we have a baseline with uh, known quantity, good quantity ammo, or good quality ammo. I'm now gonna just shoot defense ammo, and I'm gonna shoot it through the two extremes. So I'm gonna load up three HSTs, we'll do that first. So this is 147 grain HST. Yeah, just wanna make sure. Okay, 147 HST, and then 147 HST in the longer barrel gun. All right. So let me set us up again. All right, and this will be 147 HST standard pressure in a DR920L. All right, so 991 average, a low extreme spread. So that's, a, that's good data right there. 991 average. And now we're gonna shoot it over the CR. 991 was the other gun. Here we go. All 
All right, so 991 goes to 931. So we've lost 60 feet per second on this load, which of course is less than we lost on the 124. Okay? All right, now let's shoot the 124. This is the critical duty, like I mentioned. So it's a plus P load. Honestly, I think the velocity for this stuff runs about the same as that Fiocchi hardball I was shooting, um, even though it's a plus P. So we'll have to see if that's true or not. Okay, here we go. This is the DR920L with 124 grain plus P critical duty. Okay, so 1113 uh, was, excuse me, 1110 is our average. Is a little bit of a larger extreme spread, but 1113 is the average for the 124 grand critical duty. That's actually uh, 60 feet per second slower than the Fiocchi hardball, so I, I can't really explain that. All right, but we'll say 11, 1110 for the DR920L with critical duty, and then now same load in the CR920. Here we go. Okay. Average of 1044, extreme spread of 33. So uh, let's see, we were at 1113 before, so we're talking about like 70 feet per second, somewhere in there. And we'll put all these numbers together at the end for you to look at. All right. Uh, this is the one that I was kind of looking forward to. So the Underwood stuff, again, is advertised at 1,800 feet per second. Uh, this, of course, uses an unconventional style of projectile. And we'll see how it actually does in the long barrel, because I'm curious to see if we actually exceed uh, that velocity in the long barrel. So I actually have to set the chronograph to pick up a higher velocity. And here we go. This is the Platinum Edition 68 grain Underwood, advertised 1,800 feet per second. What'll it do? 1923, wow. 1902, and 1945. Average of 1,924 feet per second out of the DR920L. All right. So let's load these three into the little CR. That's really impressive, folks. That's screaming. I, I did not actually expect it to be that fast. Okay, I've got to select that higher velocity range, and we're ready to go. Here we go. CR 920 Underwood 68 grain. That one's 1762. 1762 again, 1741, okay, 1755. So obviously a uh, pretty significant reduction in velocity, but still screaming. So we'll kind of crunch the numbers for you. I mean, it does seem like the change in velocity is sort of as a percentage of the start velocity, which kind of makes sense, but we'll see if that actually becomes true. Um, and there you go. Boy, there is, there's no question the DR920L's five plus inch barrel picks up a lot of velocity on all of these loads. All right, that's what we got for you this week, and we will see you next time.